Okay, so the first thing I am going to talk to you guys about is about prep. And prep is really going to be your saving grace for this whole week, I promise. Once you sit down and figure out the meals that you're going to make, the snacks you're gonna to take to either if you're working from home or if you're working outside of the home or if you're a crazy mom like me who basically lives in her car, um, really have those things that are quick grab and go. Uh, just make it easy for yourself so it's less of a chance of, for slip ups and less of a chance for like, you know, the drive through. Um, so the first thing that I want you guys to do is I want you to go to the files of this group and I want you to take a look for a thing called the meal planning worksheet. And it looks like this. This meal planning worksheet is my godsend. Okay. It has all of the days of the week that we're going to be doing this. Now, it depends on what day of the week you're starting it. If you need to just go ahead and rewrite those names, cross those out and put it where you're starting it. I'm extra and I laminated mine because I reuse it. Um, there are a few people who keep their meal planning worksheets to make future cleanses easier. Totally up to you. Whatever you want to do, whatever works for you, that's awesome. Um, it has a space for your breakfast, your snack, your lunch, your snack, your dinner, and then the grocery list. So the first thing I like to do is really just gather all my recipes up. The um, Shackley provides us, again, it's laminated, with the Prove It Challenge seven day recipe booklet. Now, this one is really, really good. It has some of my favorites in here. Um, apple ginger salad. There is, oh, this one's another good one. The cucumber dill salad. These are all really awesome. Um, the tomato bisque soup is in here and that one I make. Um, we keep it in the house all the time. But another one is the sweet potato breakfast hash. This is absolutely amazing for your breakfasts. I have a couple other um, things I'm gonna show you too as far as recipes go, but if you want to, print this out. If you wanna just keep it in the files in this group because that's where it is and use it on your phone or your tablet, that works too. Um, but really take the time to go through these recipes and see what you might like. Um, even make them beforehand and say, okay, this is something that I can do for a couple breakfasts, awesome. Or there's a couple smoothies in here, I can take that on the go when I'm going to pick up the kids from school. Whatever it may be, use this one and as a special perk i worked really hard on it um there is another file in here that's going to have even more recipes heartier recipes more filling recipes i feel like i needed a little something extra so that is my gift to you as a client of mine there you go <laughs> have fun with them mix them up if you want um but the biggest thing you want to do is you want to plan with this worksheet um that's been uh, my saving grace for that. The other thing with it too, is don't feel intimidated to fill out the entire thing. I personally like to plan, if it's just me, I'll do it for the first four days. If it's Brad and I, my husband, will do it for the first three days and then kind of assess where we are. Oh, I really like that one recipe. I'm gonna throw it back in there at the bottom. Oh, I'm kind of running out of food. Well, let's see what else we have. And if we can kind of mix and match some things here and there, you really give yourself a good idea of how you're gonna plan for the rest of the week. If you need to go in for another grocery run on Wednesday, put it in and go for it. Um, there is a couple of recipes that I have that are like dump and go, which is my favorite, Miss Pam's soup. You'll see the recipe in my extras guide that is basically anything that you have on hand thrown into a soup and it's really good, it's got a kick. So um, just to help you guys plan those things out. The other thing to do also is if you're gonna be making a lot of the soups, I personally uh, have saved a ton of mason jars. Um, I ended up getting these from Target and the cool thing I like about them is, is they're stackable. So they don't take up as much space in my pantry or my cabinet as the other jars do. Get any jar you want. Um, I end up using four of the 16 ounce jars for the tomato bisque soup. And there's a creamy cauliflower soup recipe that I add in there. And that one fills about three of these jars. So that makes some pretty good lunches. Um, but just really keep the good things in your pantry that you want to keep on hand. Um, fruits, veggies, remember this is a plentiful amount. There's no calorie counting. There's no plate sizing. There's no containers to deal with. This is literally eating every two hours as much as you want, but within reason. Things like avocados, bananas, um, things that are high in fat or high in sugar, we wanna limit those 
and the booklet that came in your cleanse book guide, and I'll explain those with that box later in another video, but that little booklet will show what we want to embrace and what we want to stay away from. So more on that later, but prep is the key. It'll really help you get through this week. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them below or send me a message and I am here to help. So happy prepping.